This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. This session is the solutions to exercise five, which was all about writing script files. So question one, calculate the absolute pressure at the bottom of a vented liquid storage tank. Um, before we get started with this question, the first thing I'm going to do is open a new script file in MATLAB by clicking on the new M file icon and that opens a new M file in the editor window. So we're ready to start our script. The first thing that goes into the script file is some comments at the top of the script, just explaining the name of the file, what the file does, who authored it and the date it was authored, and then a little dictionary containing the variables that are used in the script. So we'll start by giving the script file a name and call this tankpressure.m. So we're going to be prompting the user for certain pieces of information and then using them to calculate the pressure at the bottom of the tank. So the user is going to be asked to input the density, a value for gravity, a value for the height of the liquid, and a value for the pressure outside. So we're going to have to take those variables from the user and convert them into SI units. So we'll begin to input our variables. So you can see I've defined all my variables now in the variable dictionary, said what they are and given their units. And what I've done here is I've defined the variable names and then added SI to indicate a different variable once the original variable has been converted into SI units. So the first commands we're going to put in our script is the clear all and CLC commands to clear the variables from the workspace and also to clear the command window. And after we've done that, we want to gather information from the user. And the way we're going to do that is by using the input command. So the first bit of information is going to be a value for row. and row will be prompted for in SI units. And we're going to do the same for the next three items of information, which are a value for acceleration due to gravity, um, a value for the height of liquid in the tank, and a value for the pressure outside. So now that we've received all the information from the user, we're just going to define some conversion factors before we go and convert to SI units. So now we're ready to convert anything that we need to to SI units.
And now that we have everything in the correct units, we can go on and calculate the absolute pressure at the bottom of the tank. And the last thing we want to do is display our result to the command window in a nice format. I'm going to do that using the disp command. And I define a string of text and then add to that my numerical value for the pressure. So now we're ready to test our script. Before we do that, we should save it and remember to call it the same name that we specified at the top of the file. And then we can just run it by clicking the play button from the toolbar. And it returns the pressure at the bottom of the tank. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.